part. The central or innermost part of something. A mood or feeling. What makes us whole gives us life. At Bryan, we're known for heart. In 2016, Brian Hart is celebrating 50 years of outstanding care and treatment of the most important muscle in the body. During this time, Brian has been at the forefront of heart care in our region, impacting over 200,000 families across the nation. The field of cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery is one of the youngest in medicine, yet has seen tremendous growth in the last half century. Heart surgery has evolved from essentially nothing, where we couldn't operate on the beating heart, to actually being able to take it apart and replace it piece by piece, and uh, bypass vessels that are blocked, and essentially rework the entire inner workings of a heart from absolutely not being a field 50 years ago. As different organizations and physicians from across the country began the foray into cardiac care in the 1950s and 60s, Lincoln, Nebraska became a very important part of the field's history. Three physicians, Dr. Steve Carveth, Dr. Herb Reese, and Dr. Walt Weaver embraced the formidable task of creating a heart care program at Bryan Memorial Hospital. I was still in Würzburg, Germany when I received a call from, from Gene and he said, uh, are you interested in coming back to Lincoln? And he said, just tell me yes or no. And if it is yes, send me a list of what I need to order. And uh, I took a deep breath after I finished the conversation. I said, I don't think they understand it's going to be $150,000. It was critical that we had the opportunity to be part of this team effort to get the Brian Hart program uh, off the ground. With a verbal agreement in place, the three men would begin a remarkable journey to create a new field in medicine from the ground up. Relying on a collaborative, nationwide effort, the founding fathers of Brian Hart began to put a program together. The risks that these guys took, they are the greats. The pioneering spirit that drove the advent of the heart-lung machine, cardiovascular surgery, um, the electronics behind some of the uh, pacing and mapping systems, these were truly amazing things that I know were pioneered here at Bryan. In 1972, I was a cath lab tech and an echo tech at Bryan. I can remember the very early days of this. In fact, I worked in the dog lab some in the early days when we were first starting to do heart surgery. And one of my good friends, dog, had a prosthetic heart valve put in in the dog lab here and you hear him clicking down the street. Now, there's been a tremendous number of advances in that period of time, things that were extraordinary when we first did them are now beyond routine. After months of research and testing, the first open heart surgery was performed at Bryan Memorial Hospital in October of 1966. The surgery was a success and paved the way for future expansion of the program, including a cardiac intensive care unit, cardiac cath lab, mobile heart team, and the creation of the Advanced Cardiac Life Support System, all of which were firsts in Nebraska. The budding program also formed an unlikely partnership with one of the most notable institutions in the state, the University of Nebraska football program. Several people died going to Husker football games. I happen to have the good fortune of knowing the athletic director, Tippy Dye. So I went to Tippy and told him, I said, uh, you know, Tippy, I think we can take the intensive care unit down to the stadium if you would allow us and save some of those people. When we opened it uh, in 1966, it was the first stadium in the entire country to have a life support unit 
which is an intensive care unit right there. I know a lot of people have been resuscitated uh, so that they can see another exciting uh, Husker football game. Over the course of the next 30 years, the practices and standards that were established in thriving cardiac locations, like Lincoln, were being used all across the country. Patients now had the option to treat and overcome potentially fatal heart diagnoses. There have really been major changes in almost every area of cardiology and cardiac surgery. If you look at the, the cardiology side, more of the medical side, we have um, new blood thinners, for example, that we used to treat people with atrial fibrillation to help prevent blood clots and strokes. Just in the last two years, new cholesterol medicines have come out that have really looked to change the way we treat cholesterol and prevent people from having heart attacks and other vascular complications. So it's just really almost in every area of cardiology that things have changed. To further the pioneering spirit of the 1960s, Brian Hart has remained committed to staying on the cutting edge of cardiac care. Advances in artery obstruction have been improved by balloon angioplasties and stents. Mechanical approaches have limited heart failure with the advent of the left ventricular assist device. And improvements in pacing technology have made gains on heart rhythm disorders with pacemakers small enough to fit in the palm of the hand. All of this is happening right here at Bryan. I think that we're on the forefront of everything modern and progressing and um, and in our field every couple months, every couple years we're doing things quite differently than we did before and uh, it's an exciting time still to be in the field. Advanced technology would be futile without a team of highly skilled cardiologists, surgeons, nurses, and medical professionals that know how to use it. From a positive relationship with hospital administration to working with multiple medical disciplines, the Brian Hart team comes together to create a plan that is individualized for every single patient. I think Brian represents all that is good in medicine. From the staff that works the floors to the administration, everyone has a true commitment to patient care that unlike that that I've seen in other places and I've been all over the country. At Bryant, the commitment to its physicians and to its patients is unparalleled. This collaborative approach allowed Brian Hart to emerge as a leader in cardiac care on a regional level. Partnerships with rural hospitals have allowed Brian to expand its footprint and offer individuals from across Nebraska and surrounding states access to the very best heart care available. I think Brian continues to service areas outside of Lincoln. There's nearly 40 communities where we would either drive to or fly to to help uh, service that area for cardiology needs. It's kind of interesting too, uh, you know, at Brian it's more than just the physicians as part of this team. Multiple communities are represented by these team members, all with a job and to help with uh, supporting that technology and that procedure. Because of this multi-state service area, Brian has the unique opportunity to impact thousands of individuals and families every year. With a half decade of countless patient success stories, there are those special cases that truly leave their mark. There is a patient who, early in my practice, was a 20-year-old college student at the time, arrived in the Brian emergency room in severe heart failure, and was dying within hours. We got a heart for her and she had an emergency heart transplant. She did okay for about two days, then had bled into her brain, had severe brain damage, and in fact was basically given up on. Her mother came to visit her and was going home and she was laying there on the floor ready to die. And her mother said, goodbye, I love you. And Robin said, I love you too, Mom. And went, holy mackerel. And the, everybody gathered, pick her back to the ICU. She's come all the way back, recovered completely. It was a wonderful experience. It's one of the highlights of my career. 
as Brian Hart celebrates its 50th anniversary and looks forward to the future. The pioneering spirit and legacy of the Founding Fathers will continue to live on and be celebrated. Dr. Steve Carveth has remained in Lincoln since his retirement in 1992 and knows that the Brian Hart team will remain prosperous and cutting edge in the years to come. I think it's an exciting time. They're not only carrying it forward, but they're in all fa facets of heart care. It's, a, it's an explosion of improvements. Walt Herb and I said it was a team approach. One team, one purpose, all for the benefit of the patient. Being able to connect the past to the future is invaluable. Medicine transcends time, and the current cardiologists and cardiothoracic surgeons are forever grateful of what came before them. There's discussion that roots of a lot of different things in cardiology have started here in Lincoln, Nebraska. My message to them would be a, a, a thankful message that uh, they were able to do that and accomplish uh, that at Bryan so we could continue what we're doing today. Thank you for pioneering everything that you did because what we do today really um, could only have been done with the insight, foresight, vision of people like our pioneering surgeons and cardiologists who really brought this program forward and made it uh, the excellent place that it is now. The visionary guys that started the program at Bryan, it's just amazing what they did, really, when you put it in perspective, to, to start a program uh, as early as they did in cardiac surgery in Lincoln, Nebraska. And I think it was really that spirit of adventure and forward thinking that has really set the tone for our service line at Bryan uh, for all the years that have followed and we think we rival any of the great programs around the country so thanks you guys for kicking it all off 50 years ago we think you guys did a great job and we hope we're living up to the legacy.